today we're going to remix this pop song and turn it into this. So for this video, we're going to use Serato Studio to make our remix. And you can download a two month free trial on it by checking out the links down below and using the coupon code DJ Carlo. Also, every sample and sound heard in this remix is free to download. So download the software, download the samples, and follow along. So once you download Sir Auto Studio and the samples, the first thing you want to do is open Sir Auto Studio and select New DJ Edit. Once you do that, let's select our acapella and drag it over here. Sir Auto will then analyze your acapella and beat grade it for you. And conveniently, the first cue point Sir Auto made is perfect. So now that we have our acapella loaded, let's make a dope beat to go behind it. So let's go to the scene section. Now on the top right, we can start making our beat. And this section over here is called the step sequencer. This is the section where we'll program our beats. So let me show you an example. Alternatively, you can press the Make Drums Pattern button to get instant drum patterns in various genres. Now one of the cool things about Serato Studio is that they provide sound packs which help jumpstart your production journey with a bunch of samples and sounds to fit a mood, genre, or sound. So I've personally gone ahead and downloaded all these packs which I recommend you do when you download Serato Studio. But if you don't have the patience to download everything, please do at least download the genre starter packs. They're completely free and completely amazing. So let's select the house drum kit. So let's go to our library section and find a good one. So when making a remix, I usually start with a good drum kit. And since this song is a bit housey, let's follow that vibe. So let's use this house drum kit. To load it, let's drag it to the step sequencer section. Now our old drum kit has been replaced with a house sample pack. The next thing to do now is to program our drums. And since this is a house song, let's first start out with the kicks, then claps, then hi-hats, then some other stuff. Nice. Now we have a decent beat. Let's extend this beat from 4 beats to 32 beats. To do that, click the plus sign over here. Let's now check how our acapella sounds with our beat. So let's go back to the song view section and let's press play. It sounds alright, but it's missing a nice melody, so let's go ahead and find one. So let's go back to the library section and look for a cool melodic loop we can use. So click audio samples. Then click all sample loops, and let's select something from the hip hop section. So this soul synth sounds pretty good, so let's drag it to our drum kit section. Now on the left, you can see our sample. And since we're just going to use its beginning, which is marked as pad number one, let's double click the section over here and drag it all the way to the end. And now let's give our track a listen. Sounds pretty good. So this beat is the backbone of our remix. 
So what we'll do from here on out is make variations of it and arrange it on the track. So back at the scene section, let's rename this intro to Chorus 1. Now let's copy it to make Chorus 2. And on Chorus 2, we'll add a shaker loop. So let's go back to our library section and add the all audio sample section, search shaker. And drag that sample to the step sequencer section. Now let's give this sample a listen. To use it with our Chorus 2 beat, let's select its Pad 1 section and like a while ago, let's drag it all the way to the end. Now let's give it a listen. Nice! Now we have a variation of our first beat, so let's go back to the Song View section and add our new second beat. And now let's give this part a quick listen. Our chorus section is complete, but our verse section though which we just entered is not. So now we have to make a verse section beat and like the chorus section, we'll make two variations of it. And don't worry, making a verse beat is actually pretty simple. All we have to do is take away a few elements from the chorus beat. So back at the scene section, let's copy chorus 2. To do that, select chorus 2, then select an empty section and select copy. Now this scene will be automatically titled Chorus 3, so let's rename it to verse number 1. So now let's remove a few elements from this beat to match the mellower section of the a cappella. So we're going to remove the open and close hi-hat samples. That's it. And now let's insert this new beat to the song view section and let's give this track a listen. Sounds good. And now let's make a variation of this as verse 2. So let's do what we did a while ago, but this time, let's only remove the open hi-hats. So now is where the fun begins. We'll arrange the four scenes into our song view section, and since the song follows a simple pattern, which is chorus and verse and chorus and verse, let's follow that as well. As for our outro section, let's add two verse ones. And let's drag the acapella's tail closer to the end of verse number 1. So this remix is almost done. To complete it, let's add a cool intro section with effects. So let's copy verse number 2 and delete all the elements from the house drum kit and shaker sample. So the sample we're going to use as an intro is a soul synth sample. But since we want to activate an isolated effect on it while it's playing during the intro section, we'll create another cue point or another pad. So the first thing we're going to do is clear the soul synth sample as well. Next, let's delete cue point 2 or pad 2 and place it at cue point 1 or pad 1 section. Now this pad will be the only pad we'll be affecting. So to activate an effect on it, let's view our effects section and let's make sure effects pad number 2 is shown. Now let's add an effect on it as well as a dry reverb effect. And now let's give our intro a listen. So with our intro done, let's add it to the song view section. So the first thing we're going to do is select this whole song and drag it 32 beats to the right. Then we'll drag the intro section to the beginning. And now our remix is complete. To export it, go to File, select Export Song, then press Export. And now you're done. And that's it. So let me know your thoughts on this video and if you want to see more production content just like this. And with that said, I will see you all in the next one. Yeah.